How did you get into hypnotherapy? Oh, hypnotherapy is one of those things that I didn't really want to get into. But as part of a course of study I was doing, it was suggested that I should. Uh -huh. In fact, they gave me the books. So I went away and read them. And lo and behold, during that time, a person presented to me with a condition, post-traumatic stress. Mm -hmm. When he came and sat and talked to me, I'd read enough to say, do you know what? A timeline journey would be just fine for you. So a timeline journey. Timeline journey is something you do in a hypnotic state yeah. that goes back in history to whenever an event occurred. Okay, so firstly, just kind of unpick hypnosis for me, because I know a lot of people think hypnosis is, you know, stage hypnosis well, that they the see. Hypnosis is really quite simple. Yeah. It's all in the mind, isn't it? Are you hypnotizing me? I don't know, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be. <laughs> it's all in the mind. You create a condition that is relaxation, and that's all it is. Yeah. And if I was to su suggest to you now that Perhaps your eyes are getting a bit <laughs> tired and you want to blink. And if you close your eyes, you'll feel perfectly fine. That's the start of hypnosis. But then there's two parts to it. There's the relaxation part, and then there's the communication with the unconscious mind. Right. In the unconscious mind, the unconscious mind's got the perfect health blueprint for you, for each one of us. And it carries all our memories, good, bad, and indifferent. So if you've got bad memories that are holding you back and preventing you from breaking through to success, then we've got to go find those bad memories, take the emotions away from them, take the learnings and keep them, but certainly get rid of the emotion. And then you can, as I say, break through to success. So you have used hypnosis for conditions from, you mentioned uh, post-traumatic stress, yeah. through to success creation. Correct. Success creation as well, because people like to have a goal. Your unconscious mind likes to have a goal. Where am I going? Yeah. And it, it says that's the destination, that's the journey that I'm going on. And you need to have various missions along the way. Yeah. You don't know the missions until you come across them. But they, all those missions help you achieve what is your goal. Mm. So through a simple session, what, what should a person expect for, from a hypnosis session? What they put into it, basically. If you come and you allow the hypnotherapist to go in to find the things that are holding you back and you allow them to come through with a positive outcome, yeah. then you will get a great outcome yourself. Okay, but nobody can kind of do hypnosis to you without your permission, can they? No, Right. and that's a misconception a lot, a lot of people have. Mm. They believe that a hypnosis has this great power that he comes along and, you know, and people go, oh, I I'm yeah. <laughs> going to talk like but a got, chicken. <laughs> well, that's right. But it, it's not the case. You yeah. cannot and will not do the things that you don't want to. Yeah. A therapist works with you. And one of the things I say to people, would you like to do hypnosis with me? Yeah. No. And if people say, yeah, off we go. And I facilitate a need. Yeah. That's what a good hypnosis, hypnotherapist does. They facilitate what it is you need. So literally, it's about repatterning any belief that might be holding you back. Correct. And, yep. and so give me an example of the kind of breakthrough. You talked about breakthroughs. The breakthroughs that people can achieve, if you've got these negative emotions holding you back, no matter what they are, no matter how many they are, can you imagine how someone would feel getting rid, rid of all that negative baggage? So give me an example of the kinds of things people might say to themselves that you then want to change. I'm not worth anything. I can't do this, I can't do that. I will never amount to anything. I'll never have money, I'll never have wealth. Yeah. All that type of thing is a negative belief. Yeah. And quite often those things are quite deep down. People maybe don't Very realize that they... And that, that's the purpose of consulting with the unconscious mind, yeah. is you're taking those negative beliefs that are holding people back and get rid of them, yeah. right? Drop your baggage, how are you gonna feel? If you drop five, two five kilo bags of potatoes, <laughs> Right, you're going to progress much, much quicker. Because everyone would, would fare better if they could get rid of that baggage. Oh, talking of baggage, right? You know I came from Perth. I do. And you, I've, flew I, in. you flew in today, I thank flew you. In. <laughs> and you know, my, my wife and I went to the shop and we bought a bag with yes. wheels. You know, we thought, we'll trundle our stuff. Oh, yeah. And so I put it on the plane and I said, when will I see that? She said, when do you arrive in Auckland? I said, great. <laughs> when I got off the plane, <laughs> Right, 
this was going around <laughs> on the baggage carousel. And I laughed as well. You know, the you first know. time I saw it going around, I thought that's really funny, especially when I saw the heavy label on it. Well, when I got that and I realised it was my bag, <laughs> I went and complained to the, to, the, to the lady at the counter, right? Like you would. Yeah, yeah. like you would. And she said, did you pack it yourself? And I said, yeah, I did. And it was delivered to me all the way, transferred. I don't know where the rest of it is. I'm so have, you got, have you got no toothbrush or anything? No toothbrush, <laughs> no nothing. We had to go and, and, and buy some of that stuff and shampoo and everything. Oh, yeah, the whole funny. lot. But look, it's an experience and... and that's so you, one of them. you have lost your baggage. I completely <laughs> lost my baggage. I'm obviously going to be successful. <laughs> yeah. So apart from giving your baggage to the airline, yeah. how else can you get rid of your baggage? Right, by listening to what your therapist has to say to get rid of the baggage, to allow you to break through to your success. Yeah. Now, I know, Kath, you're having great success with what you're doing. I've been watching your show. Yeah. And I thought I would challenge you. Oh, no. <laughs> because the challenge is, would you like to break through to your success? I know what you're going to say. I've seen him do this. Yeah. And I thought, he's flying from Perth. He's not going to be able to bring everything he needs for this. Well, that made my bags really heavy, <laughs> let me tell you. But across the other side of the studio, we do have a couple of props oh, no. ready for you to break no. through, Kath. Oh, no. <laughs> you can do it, can't you? Yes. I can do it. I, you know, it's really interesting because I'd like to say to you, oh, I'm, yeah, super confident. I just feel a slight sweatiness in Good. my palms. Good. So, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm in your capable hands. Walk this way. <sighs> Board, you are so broken. <laughs> that's good. That's determination. I love it. Now, what you want to do is get really close and put your left foot over here. Yeah. Right over, Kath. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now, shuffle the whole thing to the right. Me. So that this shoulder, yeah. this arm, is directly over the centre of the board. Okay. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, just a little bit further this way. That's it. That's perfect. Okay. Now just relax down. Okay. Relax down, relax down. Like that. Relax that. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, that pose, <laughs> you keep that. And then all you've got to do is lift it up yeah. and bang, straight through to the other side of the board. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Right. That's good. Okay. That's a nice position. <laughs> right. So you say. <laughs> so I say now look at the camera. Yeah. Look at the people. Count to three. Yeah. Right. And break it, baby. Break it. Oh, that's it. Go. Just break it. Yeah. Look at the camera. Okay. Look at the camera. You've already got your target. Take aim. One. Go. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> well done. Oh my god. You did it. <laughs> right. And they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> you keep that. <laughs> Kath. Well done, that was awesome. I literally can't believe I just did that. No, anything that you put your mind to can be achieved, but you have to believe it. That is really powerful stuff. That is very powerful. I yeah. think in that moment, I've just really realised the difference between confidence and belief. Correct. And that's, like, confidence is kind of like, oh, well, I can front up and, you know, I'm a confident person, but I actually was quite nervous. Yeah. And then I just went, okay. So then tying back to the question you asked me before, yeah. how do you feel after doing something like that? I feel completely hyped. I you feel can, like yep. I could just go out and do anything. Correct. And that... When you come to a session with me as a hypnotherapist, achieving your breakthrough, yeah. your personal breakthrough is as big as that. And that demonstrates the feeling that you should have after a session with me. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, hey, thanks for talking me through that. I... No, no problem. <sighs> yeah, and you don't even... <laughs> The board was broken before you hit it, I think. It's weird. I actually don't really remember what happened. No. I don't remember a point of impact. I just, yeah. Isn't that true with life? Often we achieve the breakthroughs in our life. And until we're at the other side of that breakthrough, you don't know you've done it. Yeah. Thank you so much for um, flying all the way here, and for wrecking your luggage, for coaching me through a, a really huge breakthrough. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Kath. Um, and continue to bring on your well. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>